welcome to your mini bi-weekly general love tarot reading for March 16th through the 31st, 2017. Welcome. Just want to say to my subscribers, thank you for being here and my listeners. I'm really grateful. The first message that I've got here is I feel like there's a road trip. I, I'm getting a sense of a road trip with children. Now, what does a road trip mean? Uh, I feel like for some of you who have been waiting to have um, custody uh, of your children, I feel like that's coming in I, and new beginnings with that. And I also feel like there are vacations. Um, uh, maybe there's spring vacation coming up. And I feel like some of you will be actually taking a road trip or trip um, uh, to take your children somewhere that you've been wanting to go to. I also feel like there is an engagement uh, for some of you Aquarians. You might actually be engaged or proposed to in March um, these last two weeks. I do feel that um, there has been a lot of focus on love and finances. Uh, for some of you, there may have been uh, some issues uh, with a partner or an ex-partner in regards to debt. I'm also picking up that there is... Um, Maybe some thinking about engagement, uh, you know, if you're ready to take that step towards another level or a higher level in a relationship. Uh, I'm also picking up for some of you Aquarians that there is some a fire sign, a, an actual fire sign. It could be a sun, moon, or rising. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could just be fire, a lot of uh, fire element, which means a lot of action, a lot of moving, uh, just try to catching up with yourself. But I also feel like this relationship of significance that I'm talking about in regards to finance issues and also um, even engagement could have something to do with a fire sign. Moving forward here, I'm getting that uh, for some of you, and I got this in Capricorn too, uh, the last two weeks of March, what I'm getting from Spirit is there's a lot of creative energy that can happen. Things are coming new, which means I feel like there's a new journey, there's a new road to go on in regards to relationships. I feel like you're connecting to people that you wouldn't normally connect to. Uh, I feel like it's a good experience for you. Uh, I also feel like a lot of things are moving fast here, Aquarius, because I'm feeling like I need to juggle some things here. And I do. I feel like there needs to be some time out, some breaks here. The last two weeks of March seems to be quite busy with a lot of unexpected things and expected things going on. But Spirit is saying, keep an open mind, guys, because you know what? Sometimes when there's a soulmate that differs from us, um, you know, it kind of teaches us not to expect things. Uh, or to have such high expectations because that's where we get disappointed. And I think some of you are actually waiting for somebody special in your life. And this is the opportunity to really uh, be risky and just feel and learn something new, feel and learn something different when it comes to love. Uh, some of you are actually, I feel like you're waiting for um, an Aries. I don't, I don't know why that's come in here, but I do. I feel like you're waiting for an Aries uh, to um, make a move. Again, if this person could actually be a part of that soulmate uh, energy that's a different. Uh, but there is a very strong attraction. Um, I'm also feeling too, there is a very strong attraction for new love and I feel like that can be yours. I'm just going to pull a few more cards just around here. Yeah, gosh, I'm getting so much fire here, guys. Ooh, but yep, yep, there could be a Gemini too. But I really feel like there is going to be love with a fire sign. Also, I feel like there's love too with an air sign. Uh, but I think there's... Um, some hemming and hawing here. Maybe there's a little bit of delay. And that could have happened earlier in March uh, when, um, uh, or I should say the end of February, you know, around February 26th when the eclipse was firing off, the solar eclipse. So uh, it could have, you know, caused delays or, or maybe things were just kind of up and down. But new love, new love is coming. I do feel a lot of lovers happening here. Uh, I'm going to pull some... Um, some of my tea leaf cards here. Oh, we got the dog. Love the dogs. Actually, that's my sign in Chinese astrology. 
And I love dogs anyways. And then we've got apple. And we have teapot. So basically what the dog means is there is good energy uh, for you Aquariuses to meet new friends, loyal friends. Also, there are events. There's things happening here where you're getting together with loved ones, getting together with friends. And I feel like for some of you, you might actually meet some new friends. And I feel like for some of you, these new friends or this one friend is really going to help try to change your life a bit. I don't think they're going to change it's really up to you but what I'm trying to say is they're going to bring in some good suggestions some really new love and light into your life now there is something here the apple represents something that may be tempting you okay and uh, there might be some testing going on here now this could be you testing another or it could be another testing you but I also feel like the angels too are testing you on something some of you Aquarians may have made a promise to yourself and the angels are testing you to see if you're actually going to keep it the teapot here is again a friendship card and that with the dog boy this is someone this is someone very special this is a very deep friendship. Some of you are going to get very involved in new relationships that are very deep. Also, I'm getting same-sex relationships that you're going to meet someone um, that is uh, the same sex, okay? And I do feel like this could turn out to be a very hot relationship, okay? Now, I'm just going to pull in Love Oracle card, guys. New vitality. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at this card. New vitality. You are moving. You are moving, Aquarius. You are just coming into your own and you've got this new energy about you the last two weeks of March. You're going to start turning leaves, turning new leaves. I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and shuffle general card. General cards. These are the Angel Tarot deck by Radley Valentine and... Doreen Virtue. These are my favorite. Please excuse me if I talk fast. I'm trying to keep up with spirit. Not that I'm not using my own intuition. I am. But at the same time, I'm also listening to uh, spirit. And sometimes spirit, when the energy is really high, really knows how to blah, blah. And I'm trying to keep up with that too. Okay, what are the messages for Aquarius? Okay, so we have the six of earth, six of fire, two sixes there, ego, eight of water, unity, nine of earth, four of air. Oh, there's an extra card that wants to come out here, so we're just going to go ahead and lay it. And we've got the star and the ten of earth. We're going to leave this ten of earth as... Uh, maybe a theme. Okay, so the six of earth is saying money's coming in. Okay, I feel like some of you are making pretty good money. Um, money in, money out is what I'm getting from spirit, but I feel like there's a gift of money. They're going to be receiving money here. Uh, also, there's new career opportunities. Okay, now with the money here, this could be a card where, you know, you decide you want to apply for a loan. Maybe there's a house you want to buy or maybe there's a condo or it just could be a, a new car. Uh, but either way, I feel like or or it could be for debt. Either way, I feel like money's coming in for you. The six of fire is the good news card. That is the victory card. Good news. It's on its way. Well, we already know that Aquarius. You are rocking the last two weeks of March. Um. I also feel like some of you may get something special. Some of you might actually who are going to school might uh, turn out to get uh, scholarships. Um, I also feel like there could be some awards uh, going on, but the ego here. Now, for some of you, uh, what this means is you're into a false sense of entrapment. Pretty much you see it the way it is, but you're not, you're trapped, but you're not trapped, okay? And I think also, too, you're worried, uh, some of you might actually be worried now that this is um, sitting around the money card, 
I think that you might be worried about, you know, maybe your job or maybe you can't find one. You're focused on material things. Maybe you know what it is not to have and suddenly you have. And so you're getting really stingy and tight uh, with the money, uh, but you're fearing. Okay. The ego card here is about fear. So let's let go of the fear. Okay. Some of you too are making some life changing events. Okay. We, we are shifting galore. We don't stop shifting, obviously. Uh, but we do have some heavy universal shifts and that eclipse of February 26th is still hanging around. Um, anyways, the eight of water is, um, this is a desire to move on. This is like searching for something that's more meaningful in your life. This could be from a relationship. This could be from a career. Um, it could be a lot of different things here, uh, but pertaining to your personal life and I feel uh, your business or work life. And also, um, I think this is just kind of like, like getting a wake up call. I feel like this is graduating spiritually or having a, a mature growth here that you did you couldn't seem to uh, get to uh, beforehand and you just kind of reach that point and ta-da, there it is. The unity card here is about, um, you know, viewpoints, other people's viewpoints uh, or methods. It's also about, um, you know, seeking like-minded friends or, or perhaps even removing some toxic friends from your life uh, because it's time, Aquarius, for some of you to make that change. That change is there. There may be some life event changes that wake you up to that point, but the changes are there and, and spirit is saying it's time to wake up. It's time to change your life. It's time to clear it, clean it, move on uh, the eight of water. And then the nine of earth is enjoying life's little luxuries. You know, this is spending quiet time alone. Okay. Uh, to me, I look at the hermit when I, I see alone and you're never alone. You've always got higher energy with you, always got have, have higher source with you. Um, but it is about spending time alone. And I think there's a lot of decisions to be made here in regards to stepping forward. That's it. Not backwards, stepping forward. This card is also someone, you know, that is perhaps in their own business, uh, the questioning of the fact or about whether or not they're going to make it or whether... That's the, the information that's getting in here. But I do, I feel that you will make it in your own business. I feel that you will. You just need to give more thought, review your plans. Don't expand too large. Take your time. But I do feel like things are actually going to move in the right direction uh, with your self-employed business. Don't give up. The four air is... A really great card it's meditate more it's also vacation card like I saw with the the children um, or if they're not your children maybe they're your nieces or nephews uh, or your family but I feel like you're going away uh, this is a time also the end of March here the last two weeks for vacation and also allowing more time to breathe allowing more time to make decisions the star is the star <laughs> happy times um i think the best way to put it um archangel jophiel is to make positive changes one step at a time okay don't jump so far into the future okay um make the changes within you that you want to see in your outer world that you want to see in others okay and then the ten of earth that just kind of wanted to join us in this layout is a very happy card happy family happy finances security uh, just finding gratitude and magic and love in everything that you do that's what you want to focus on Aquarius if you'd like a personal reading www.transformationandempowerment.com remember to check your moon and rising thank you Aquarius much love and blessings